Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas here today with another video on the channel. Today we're back with another Subnautica video. And in the last video, we didn't get too much stuff done. We just explored the world around us and got some of good stuff going. We got a decent amount of resources, as you guys can see. But this episode, I want to focus more on actually getting, like, good gear. And uh, that means uh, I have to go out for looking for blueprints. So what I want to try and get is, um, I want to get a rebreather. I want to get, try and get a sea glide, because that'd be really good. And, yeah, well then we'll just go from there. So, I'm gonna go search around for quite a while, probably looking for some wrecks to see if I can find any good blueprints, and I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so we're back, and it's about five minutes, so this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. See, here we got sea glide fragment. Nice, you can see what I need to craft that up. But while I was searching around, I got a lot more resources, which is pretty good. But the one big thing I got, um, you guys didn't see because I wasn't recording. On the side of the screen, like right over here, when, um, if you have a radio working, like repaired in this thing or built in one of your bases, you can get like a bunch of stuff from like this actual storyline from like the people that used to live here. I'm not going too much detail on that. Or, the thing that happened to me from other survivors of the auroras drive call may result in a quantum detonation continuing to monitor. okay so um we got this is red so let's just receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back this is life pod 3 uploading our coordinates we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide so if we're late for the rendezvous don't panic also don't go home without us Seriously. Three out. Right. Location uploaded. Okay, so we know that there's a actual um survivors somewhere. Just we don't know where. Well we got a signal, so way over there. Four twenty four twenty meters. Of course. Four twenty meters and the sea glide is crashed. I'm probably gonna get a sea glide before I go with them. See what we need. Um copper, battery, and lubricant. I think I have enough for all that. I have three copper, which is enough for, I think I got this good. All I need is like three acid mushrooms and I'll be able to get all of this. Um, shoot, I'm just going to drop this for now. Um, get some acid mushrooms. Pick that up. Alright, let's see if we can craft it now. I think, well, I think I don't need that much acid mushrooms. I got a little bit too much. Okay, so battery, copper wire, both those take a lot of copper. Okay, I didn't need that much acid mushrooms, I guess. Um, um and then craft up copper wire, and we should be able to get it. Nice. So I don't really need the repair tool on me all that much. But before I actually go ahead and craft this, I want to craft one of these so I can actually put some soft places. Because I won't be able to carry it, I don't think. Um, okay, let's just put this somewhere. Just throw this out. In. Okay. Grab that. And just like, let's just throw that in there. Just so, that's nice. So now we can actually carry stuff. And now let's craft up the sea glide. Because I'm pretty sure if I remember the sea. Oh. What did I get rid of? Oh, take team. The sea guide is pretty big. And we'll take up a lot of space. Especially if we go get stuff from that life pod. Alright, sea glide. That's nice. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Alright, I got you. Okay, so we're gonna go over there, and I'll see you guys once we're there. Alright, so we're getting close, and jeez, for how good it feels to get a sea glide finally so fast. Alright, um, three, looks like there's a hole in it, that does not look good. Um, is there anything here? A sea glide, I already got that. I'm pretty sure that gives you titanium if you already have it. Yeah, I got two titanium. Let's check this out. Um, nobody's in here. Data box, what's in it? Compass, I don't know if I really need that. I mean, banded PDA, let's see what this is. 
crew log. Uh, is this like in here somewhere? Um, uh, um, oh, there's another one. See, that's what I was talking about right here. But look, let's listen to this. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Alright, so... That's maybe what they made the hole in there. Talking about how something was there. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we gotta hurry though. There's a little thing, radio signal, on the side of the screen. You guys can see that. Let's go check it out. Maybe it's another live pod or from the Aurora. I don't know. Let's go see. Um, picked up a few fish on the way over there because my water is running pretty low. All right, let's get in and check this out. Okay, let's listen to this and craft up some water. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Snake thing? Signal location up. Yeah, right, let's go look at this. Then. Guess we're just gonna start getting a bunch of light pods. I mean, that's fine. We can see if anybody's alive, or see if we can get any stuff from it. Let's go over here and see what happens. 100 meters, that's pretty deep. I don't want to die. But I should be fine. I like my sea glide. So yeah, there's a mode where you can turn on to see the caves and stuff. But there isn't really cave much caves around here. There's caves in this biome. There's a lot of them. But not really too close. Yeah, let's see. Where is it? Right there. What number is that? That's 17. Alright, let's see what these guys got. Ooh, sea moth, that's great. Almost crushed by the sea moth bay. I guess that's good for us. Got some sea moth fragments. So we need three of them. That's, that's okay. Okay, um, anything on the outside? Doesn't seem to be. Another Urbano PDA, okay. Um, yeah, nothing else in here though. Let's listen to this. Integrating new PDA. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Alright, so, um, that doesn't sound good, but, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for more signals or something to happen, I think I'm gonna be looking for more blueprints just to get stuff going. Might look for a sea moth. I have to check this out. I think this might be one of the big caves. Um, full air, let's just check this out. Show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters. Leading to an unknown environmental biome. Alright, let's check this Passing out. This might be scary. Because this is why I want to rebreather. Because um, I'm going to save before I do this. Because I have a slightly a bad feeling about this. Um, really hope that I didn't just crash the game. Okay, we're good. What is this? Jelly shoe. Scan this real quick and then we're going down. That doesn't sound. Oh, this is huge. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen what is that? Um, I'm gonna get full air and then come back down because I spent a little bit of time. The conditions that... in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw like a snake thing that does not look good. Artificial structure somewhere in the region. Artificial structure. Okay. Are we getting? Let's check that out there. Well, I was gonna wait, I was gonna say let's go get a sea moth, but let's just check what this stuff has. Artificial structure, that means human, possibly. Maybe it's these guys, maybe they built something down there. Let's just check this out. This might have good resources for us too. Um, copper, that's always good to have. Like this cave, go pretty deep, have good resources for us. Um, 
Alright, I just wanted to stay clear of whatever that snake thing was. It did not look good. Lithium. Ooh. Something different. Maybe that could come in handy. Okay. Um. I'm really deep. I'm losing air like super fast. Once again. Ooh. <gasps> A piece. What is this? Hold up, I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna go back one more time and then, cause I don't wanna die of oxygen, I'm losing oxygen really fast. So I think I'm gonna go up, go scan that, or find out whatever about that, and then just go, s and then just run out, and then probably go look for like a sea moth to go, um, look back around this place. Alright, hurry. So, so let's go check that out, I don't like any of this down there, but we're just gonna see what we can get. Alright, stick it. No backing out now. I really hope there's no bad things down here. I don't know what could be down there. Pro like, that Person snake thing. I haven't been down here in like three years. I, rem I used to love this place. That was literally three or four years ago. I don't remember anything about this anymore. And there's been so much updates since then. I don't okay. Please don't. Oh no, what is that? No, oh, please. Oh, so I'm just gonna stick it. What is it? Um, floodlight? Okay. If that's all that's down here, I'm gonna be slightly sad. Anything, anything. Nothing. If that was the structure they're talking about, that's kind of lame. Um, that's a snake thing. What is that? I'm out. Any resources possibly before I go? I probably shouldn't be looking. I don't have enough air. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll, I'll probably check out that once I get a sea moth. But yeah, I'm gonna go look for some more blueprints, and I'll be back if I find anything cool. Alright, guys, so another update. Um, We're over here. As you can see, there's a big record there. I want to check that out, but um, I found some good stuff. I found uh, um, a one mobile vehicle bay, which is what you need to craft the sea moth, which I find two of. So, like, we're going on good right now for, like, good vehicles, so, um, I found a Seamoth here in a mobile vehicle bay, like, over there. There's this huge, um, thing that I haven't checked out yet. What's this? Scan room? Hmm. That's pretty interesting. We can't, that's pretty good to have. But, yeah, there's this big thing over here that, like, I want to check out. New PDA data. Okay, is that a Seamoth? That's a Seamoth. I got all three. Fire reactor. That's good. That's, like, fit, like, put fish and, like, plants in them. I think. Um. Anything else? Bar table. Metal. Um, yeah, let's go up. Uh, and then we're gonna go check out the actual thing itself. Okay, let's get this air real quick. And go back down. Alright, so there's a chance that I can't even get anything in here because you might need a laser cutter to open any of these doors if they're like jammed. So just hope I can actually get in here without having to do anything. Um, alright, crate. Passing 100. Okay, this looks like it was a chunk of the Aurora at some point. Um, preparing the day's water ration. Ahead of time. Data box, what is this? Ultra glide fins, that could be good. That's like super fast gliding. Hold up. Yeah, so that door, we need it. Two hours, quantum detonation, that means it's gonna blow. Guys, we gotta watch that, it's gonna blow. Oh, huh, that's kinda cool. Oh, so we can get out behind that sealed door anyway. More disinfected water, I'm scared, I'm starting to get scared. Um, battery treasure, I feel like I'm gonna die of oxygen. Once it's 30, we're dipping. Anything else? Laser cutter, grab that and we're probably gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Huh. 30 seconds. Where's the top? Stick it, stick it, I'm gonna die. Stick it out of my way. Please, 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 please. I got good stuff. I don't want to die now. What's well, so bright? We're fine, we're fine. Whew. Okay, so I'm guessing I don't want to be over here when this thing blows. Let's see, what do we all get? So, 
um, data bank. I don't really need any of that. We got blood light scanner room, which is like really good. 3D display in the center of the room stores local top topographical data. So you can scan and pinpoint particular materials. Remotely controlled drones, wall mounted cameras. Yeah, this thing's really good. You can like pick if you're like in a place with lots of resources and you have one of the upgrades you can click a special resource and I'll show you where all the resources are so if you build one in like just like open right here and collect the titanium there'll probably be like a million of them um that's always good to have power we got a bioreactor that's a lot of good power and CMOS so I think we can build that now um no we still need one more okay so my water is also running low which isn't good Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, um, that's good to know. So, um, I'm just gonna sit here, keep getting more blueprints. Wait, see if anything happens. This might explode, which would be pretty cool. Um, to watch, but yeah. I'm gonna just see where stuff goes. Before I do that, though, I think I can build a rebreather now, because I have, like, a ton of silver from exploring. Um,. One silver, I swear I had like a bunch. Unless I turned it into something, that's just one silver. How much do I need for a rebreather? There's wire, kit, and fiber mesh. Which I believe the wire and kit is two silver, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we can't craft that. All right, so I'm gonna wait, go get some more material, see if this, what happens with the aurora, and I'll see you guys after that. Okay, so this thing seems to be getting pretty bad. Um, probably gonna explode really soon, but yeah, I named this titanium, put a bunch of titanium, named this quartz, and got a bunch of quartz. It's pretty good, but yeah, let's just look at this. I feel like this is about to explode. It's getting like, it's starting to smoke pretty bad, and I have a bad feeling. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna stay here and wait till it explodes, because I have, I said two hours. The two hours in game goes by like super fast so i feel like this is gonna explode any minute look at that smoke there 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 that wasn't there like 10 minutes ago so let's just wait and see what happens okay guys i think it's happening i think it's happening this is a big i've been waiting for like 10 minutes and I'm glad I was gonna like time lapse me just sitting here, but like that would have took forever. That's been a little bit like 10 minutes. I just got this and I had to pause it and start my recording back up. Quantum donation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. Oh no. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening, guys? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Oh, yo! Screenshot! That might be the thumbnail! Oh, is there, is there gonna look a huge shockwave? Yo! Look at that! That probably sent like a bunch more big wreck things all over. New blueprint acquired. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Yo, yeah, oh, that was sick! Alright, so. We're we might go check that out in the next future episodes, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.